Welcome to Coupa Incorporated, the leading manufacturer of electric files and bits, and now a full line of Divinity and Artfinity enhancement products. Perfectly packaged with superior performance, the Divinity Acrylic System by Coupa provides versatility, strength, and ease of application when creating the perfect pink and white nails. Our guest artist is master nail technician Vicki Peters, who will demonstrate how to use the traditional medium setting Divinity EMA liquid monomer, which complements the pink, clear, and white Divinity powders. You will see that it is easy to use, full bodied, and not ratio sensitive in two separate demonstrations. The first demonstration is a traditional pink and white sculpture using a form. The second demonstration is a pink and white sculpture also using a form, but with a reverse application method extending the look of the nail plate with the Divinity Cover Pink. And the third demonstration features a pink and white tip and overlay using Divinity Odorless Monomer. The Divinity Essentials Kit includes everything you need to create 50 full sets of nails. Peace Dehydrator, Love Primer, Harmony Cuticle Oil, 4 ounce traditional EMA and odorless monomers, 2 ounces of clear, pink and white polymer powders, artist C tweezers, silk shear scissors, high shine buffer file, 2 shaper buffer 100 180 grit files, a practice finger, 2 tap and dishes, nylon nail brush, a package of forms, a package of tips, brush on glue and a number 8 sculpting brush. Nail preparation. Always begin your service with clean, freshly washed hands. Start your prep work by gently pushing the cuticles back with the cuticle pusher. Then with the buffer side of the shaper buffer file, remove the shine on the natural nail plate. Remove the dust with a clean nylon nail brush. Apply Peace Dehydrator which removes any impurities that may be left on the nail plate. Next apply one ample coat of Love Primer to all the nails and allow it to dry for 30 seconds. Next we will apply a form to sculpt the nail. Remove the form from the backing and pop out the center. Place it on the back of the form for added strength. Then tear the perforation and roll the form to create the shape. At a 45 degree angle catch the corners of the natural nail first. Keep the roll in the shape as you bring the end of the form up towards you and fit the underside of the free edge perfectly. Press the sides of the form to the finger so it is secure and then press the shape in with your fingers and close the end tabs. Place the first ball of white product on the form just at the edge of the natural nail. Wipe your brush and bring it to a point. As you are doing this the product will start to set up and self level so it is not so sticky to the touch and will be more manageable. Using the belly and tip of the brush work the product into shape as it dries creating the base of the tip. Always be careful not to get the skin wet from the liquid on your application brush. Add a second ball of white powder on the edge of the smile line and press it into place. Wipe the excess down the nail to fill it in and then wipe your smile on with the tip of your brush until the product is dry enough that it no longer moves. Add additional smaller balls of dry white powder to each side of the smile line to extend it up the sides making the perfect smile line shape.
Once the white powder has dried at the smar line, add one to two very small wet balls of clear powder over the smar line. This will help protect the integrity of the division of the pink and white colors. The next step is adding the pink to the nail bed of the nail with two balls of pink powder. Place the first ball of pink in the center of the nail just above the white and wipe your brush. Press it gently and guide it into place, being careful not to drag the pink over the white. Place the second ball, which should be wetter and smaller, on the top edge of the last pink ball of product. Gently with the tip of your brush, press it towards the cuticle and wipe the product down the nail. Once the nail has started to harden and becomes dull, place the Divinity C Tweezer tool on the white part of the nail at an angle and hold tightly, pressing in the C-curve shape until the nail no longer moves. Traditional pink and white sculptured nail reverse application demonstration. After you have prepped the nail and applied the form, apply a fairly large medium to dry ball of cover pink powder to the bottom half of the natural nail. Press the product towards the cuticle area, leaving room for an additional ball of product. Work the product over the edge of the natural nail, extending it onto the form. Once the product becomes slightly firm, focus on the smile line's edge, perfecting it so when you apply the white up against it, you will have that perfect built-in smile line shape. Apply a second ball of cover pink to the cuticle area and pull the excess product over the rest of the nail plate, blending it in. Apply a large ball of white powder to the form, creating the tip shape. Press it right up against the pink that has hardened, pressing the product up the sides to create the high points of the smile line, then refine the shape of the tip. Add additional dry balls of white powder at the high points on the sides if needed for a much more dramatic look. Once the white powder has hardened, overlay the entire nail with a thin layer of clear powder to give it additional strength and a nice arch. Odorless Acrylic Pink and White Tip and Overlay Demonstration After you have prepped the nail, size out the tip. The underside has a well that fits the very edge of the natural nail. Make sure it fits perfectly from side to side. Rock the nail to view the fit on both sides. The tip will be applied with Divinity Thin Brush-On Glue that dries quickly. Turn the tip over and with the Divinity Brush-On Glue, apply a small but even amount inside the seam of the tip. Into place, at an angle, pressing the glue evenly, pushing out any air bubbles, and hold it in place until it is secure. With your C-tweezers, press the corners down so they fit tight into the groove walls. Next, with the scissors or a tip clipper, shorten the length of the tip. With the Divinity Shaper Buffer File, shape the tip's edge and sides. Also refine the contact area, holding the file flat to the nail. Then flip the file over to the buffer side and refine the contact area even further and remove the shine from the tip. Remove the dust with a nylon nail brush. Saturate your brush with odorless monomer and wipe it out on the table towel. Redip and get a minimal amount of liquid and pick up a ball of white powder and place the white powder on the tip and work it into place.
perfect your smile line until the product no longer moves. Then add a few smaller, drier balls of white powder to the ears of the smile line, extending the shape of the smile line, making it higher on the sides. The odorless liquid monomer consistency is oilier and wetter than traditional liquid and takes longer to dry. This gives you more time to work the product into place. Once the white powder has started to harden, place a medium-sized ball of the pink powder on the nail plate in the center of the nail, pressing it towards the cuticle and wiping down the nail to make it smooth without pulling it over the white. Apply a smaller, wetter ball of pink powder to the cuticle area and allow it to self-level as you press it into place towards the cuticle. Filing and shaping the nails. Once you have completed the application process, remove the forms. Use the shape or buffer file which will give the nails a perfect smooth surface. Before you begin, be sure to remove the sharp edges of the file with another file and begin shaping the end of the tips on all 10 nails. Focus on one thing at a time and develop a filing system that will help you be more consistent. Compare and measure the length of the nails before filing the left side and then the right side. Hold the file flat to the nail so you get a straight line. After you have filed the outer edges of the nails and have given them a perimeter shape, File the undersides of the nails by placing the file under the nail on the undersides edge and filing almost upward. This will make sure the extension's edge is straight out from the nail groove. Now that the shape of the nails have been established, with your electric file like the Koopa 2G Portable E-File, we're going to refine the surface shape. Place the bit flat to the nail and begin to refine the surface. Angle the bit at the tip and near the cuticle without actually touching the cuticle. We will be using the safety bit for that. Check all angles of the nail by turning the nail sideways. This will make sure the apex is in the correct location and then repeat the same steps on the next nail. Next, replace the carbide barrel bit with a smaller rounded topped medium grit Koopa safety bit. Reduce your RPMs to about 7000 and hold the bit flat to the nail so that the bit contact on the nail is about 50%. This bit has been specifically designed with a rounded top so it is safe to use at the cuticle area. With your shaper file, refine the perimeter edges once again and go over the entire nail one more time using less pressure than the first time to refine the shape. Repeat the same steps on each nail with the buffer side of the shaper file. This will refine the nails and edges even more. Be sure to smooth the underside corners of the nails as well by angling the buffer file across the tip's edge.
Now that you have completed filing and shaping the nails, remove all the dust with a nylon nail brush in preparation for the gel sealant. UV Foria gel sealant is applied over acrylic or gel for a permanent high gloss finish. Cures in just minutes in both UV and LED lamps. With one thin coat, it applies perfectly every time. Allow it to self-level and cap the edges and cure. Finish the nails with a little hydration by applying the all-new Pure Pomegranate Jojoba Formulation of Harmony Cuticle Oil. Rub it into the cuticles for a finished look. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial by Master Nail Technician Vicki Peters. The Koopa name is synonymous with high quality electric nail filing equipment that meets the needs of nail professionals everywhere. Now offering a full range of Divinity and Artfinity enhancement products for the progressive nail artist. For more information on Koopa Electric Files and Bits, Divinity or Artfinity products, visit the website at www.koopainc.com.